Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Reza. In this video, I want to show you how you can make lo fi beat using only stock plugins, uh, of FLS Studio, and of course, only the sounds that came with FLS Studio. But before we get into the video, please like the video. If you like it, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the next video. Uh, it's really helped me out, you know, for the YouTube algorithm. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. Go follow me on Spotify, Instagram, and TikTok. Links all are in the description. Thank you, thank you so much. And of course, you can you know download you know this project uh, in the you know the link in the description that I'm gonna put in there. So without any you know talking, any wasting time, let's you know make lo-fi beat using only stack plugins. Uh, okay, guys. So for this beat, uh, I choose Clues Grand, uh, which is in the Felicity Studio. If you go to Packs, uh, go to Instruments and to the keyboard, uh, there it is. You can use this. It has a you know, decent sound. I really like it. I wrote the chord progression for this one and I'm gonna play it so you can hear this one. I wrote uh, something about you know 16 bar chord progression and add some you know some small you know changes so that we can have more you know variation in our bit and it's not getting so you know boring. So let me play this one for you. I add some, you know, uh, changes in this place. And in here, I add some, you know, tiny notes. It's really chill, it's really mellow, I really like this. You know, it's really, have that, you know, lo-fi feel. And if you notice, I play with the you know, velocity, of course, in here, so they're not, you know, the same velocity. And in the mixer, I go to this one, as you can see, I level everything, you know, the most important part in the, you know, mixing is your sound selection and, of course, the leveling. Uh, for this one, I add, you know, this fruity parametric EQ2 and I cut the you know high and low and if you notice I you know duck some of the you know the resonance in here so they you know not too harsh uh, and then I add this patcher I you know choose preset called uh, humanizer and uh, it's sound like you know RC20 or isotope vinyl and you can just play with this knob, you know, it adds some wobble to it, so let me play this and listen. See? It's too much, I don't want to do that. Maybe here is good. And then I add this, you know, uh, fruity limiter. So if you notice, this place, I just want you know take you know a little bit you know that peaks. So this is our piano, and then I add a string. Uh, let me show you the string section, which I you know choose from the packs in instruments in the orchestral, and I choose this string section in here. And the only thing that I did was just you know I copy and paste the you know root notes to it. So let me just open this and listen to this. Beautiful. And in the mixer, you know, I didn't do anything to it, only I add a uh, parametric EQ2, uh, you know, cut the high and the low, and of course I connected, you know, to the reverb channel, you know, I sent to this one, to the, this reverb, which, you know, uh, this is our settings, and then, you know, I add a free treat parametric EQ2 to our, you know, reverb channel too, and this was, you know, our whole, you know, instruments and let's you know get into the drums for the drums i choose only sounds that you know were in the fls studio uh this is our hi-hat uh it says ice hat 4 but uh, if you listen to it 
it more sound like you know uh, percussion. This is our open hi hat, a rim shot that I you know layered it with uh, this rim, and this is another percussion. It says coffee pot rattle, staple shakes. Another, you know, percussion things, and this is our our kick. Uh, it was really hard for me to find the good kick, you know, from the Philips Studio packs. Uh, I found this one. It's called Attack Kick uh, 46, which I, you know, play a little bit with the out and in. Yeah, here it is. Uh, for the bass, I again, I you know, I use Boo Bass, you know, which is a stock plugin. I you know, uh, copy and paste, you know, the root notes, our our chord. You know, try to you know, listen this with you know using headphone, because it's bass and it's a little bit hard to hear. Uh, in the mixer, I didn't too much. Only thing I did for the kick and uh, of course the bass, uh, I wrote this uh, one channel and I put you know uh, stereo and mono. I put it in mono. You should you know. It's I mean <laughs> in the most videos says you know it's good you know put this in the mono because you know if you it's they get wide. It's definitely you know gonna make some muddiness for your mix and it's not good. Uh, oh, by the way, let me, you know, uh, play the whole drums together for you and uh, listen. And uh, let me play the whole things together. I mean, you know, the piano, the string, the bass and drums. Sleep, man. This is really chill. Oh my god, my eyes are closing. Nice. And then I add, you know, some, you know, shims, you know, from Defla Studio, and then I automate the panning. If you listen with the headphone, you know, it came from this ear to this one. Uh, and then I add a uh, riser and of course crash. You notice? I add a bunch of reverb to it. If we go to our mixer, you know, as you can see, you know, it's connected to our reverb. Bunch of reverb, of course, you know, this one is, I think this is, you know, riser and this is crash. And then I found this, you know, nature sound, you know, from the FL Studio pack. So let's listen to it. And then I couldn't find, you know, vinyl cracker, so I found this white nose. White nose, white nose, sorry guys, sorry for my bad English. You know, some more for the texture and stuff like that. Uh, and, uh, you know, for the intro, I, you know, took my chord progression and I just bring, you know, the chords one octave, you know, down, and so it's in the low, you know, area. So let me play this one for you. It's really nice. Uh, in this section, I add hi hat, and of course, I bring the you know string section, you know, in, and here. Our drop. Woo. Beautiful. Uh, in this part, you know, I chop some of the drums and let me show you. And then I bring the, you know, uh, the string section in. Uh, in this place, you know, we have something like, I don't know, bridge, something that. Uh, maybe our ear gets some rest and I again copy and paste this part of the intro and again you know I usually do this in my you know most of arrangement uh, in the second part I did a little bit you know something different we listen to this I cut you know one bar for a hole and then it's really nice and in the end, uh, 
I automation uh, the master volume and so it's you know slowly fade and of course for the master I did not too many I just open maximus and I go to preset and I choose clear master RMC let me play it for you let me turn off this and you can definitely see the difference okay let me turn on this again turn off Okay guys, so this was our video and I hope you enjoy, I hope you learn something. I'm sorry, you know, because the bad quality and of course because the, you know, some lagging that my PC was making, some sounds that it was making, you know, it's really weak PC, it's really old and I hope one day I can get some, you know, <laughs> some new PC, some laptop, I don't know, whatever. Thank you so much for watching, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel, it really helped me out. Go follow me on Spotify, Instagram, TikTok, the link in the description, of course the link of this project will be in the description too. Thank you so much, till the next video, I'm out. Peace.